What's going on Hot Wheels fans? This is Stick Shift Hot Wheels for another review. Today I'm reviewing the Hot Wheels 2022 RLC Gulf Oil Datsun 510. Thankfully for us loose collectors, Hot Wheels packaged this 510 in the acrylic case. So there's absolutely no agonizing over ruining the value of opening the car. For many, the Hot Wheels Datsun 510 needs absolutely no introduction and it is one of the most sought after Hot Wheels castings ever produced. If I'm honest, I mean, I kind of understand it. You know, you had one of these as a kid or your parents had one of these as a kid and so you're absolutely obsessed with the Datsun 510. To be honest, I don't really get the fascination of why the casting is so hyped. It's a cool car, but I mean, some of these limited edition cars are going for hundreds of dollars, and that's absolutely insanity. Total insanity. This eBay screen capture was taken the night after the car dropped, and oh my god, two of them sold for over $400. Who does this? Who? Tell me! That being said, this car was limited to probably about 35,000 pieces. For this particular car, Mattel decided not to put the numbered holographic sticker on it, which I think at first I was a little frustrated by that, but I think that was very smart so that people don't sell, you know, the low cars in the hundreds in the car number 10 and car number one for thousands and thousands of dollars. Mattel isn't stupid and you know, they're protecting their asses. So I think that's good. I was kind of bummed that this car originally didn't come in the regular Spectra Flame Hot Wheels RLC finish that most cars do because I've seen some Gulf RLC cars in the past that were and they were absolutely amazing. But I have to say this, you know, more realistic color of just the powder blue and orange paint scheme really look realistic. The car is highly detailed. The front and rear bumpers are painted silver, for example. I mean, everything is done on this car and it looks really awesome. There's just one little small thing that's kind of been bothering me. The, uh, the black for the B pillar doesn't go all the way up the, the B pillar. You can see it like stops at the top of the windshield frame. Other than that, this car is absolutely flawless. There's, there's no issues. There's no paintwork issues, nothing. I think that's partially down to, it's not a Spectra Flame car, so you don't have those issues. Car obviously has an opening hood, which looks very nice. It's a really cool model, very, very well done. Here you will see the highly detailed four cylinder engine in this Datsun. I think it's gonna be one of those models that People are going to be kicking themselves if they didn't pick it up off the RLC website. I scrambled to get this one, almost didn't get it, I got lucky. I think it looks really nice with these very meaty classic silver wheels. They kind of remind me of the mini light wheels. They look really nice on this car. The car has an orange roll cage as well as dark tinted smoke windows. I like the white roof. It kind of breaks it up and gives it some contrast. It was only until after I reviewed the photographs that I found a few tampo issues with the car. The door has a crease line under the door handle and this crease causes the tampo not to go into the recess. Hence only in photographs will you see the orange of the Golf logo be spotty and not filled in, which kind of sucks when you look at these awesome photographs and realize that the tampo is kind of screwed up. The good news is that you can't see these imperfections in the tampo to the naked eye. Even though this isn't a real race car, Hot Wheels did a great job with the realism. The car features the Coney Shocks logo, the Auto Light logo, and the Firestone Tire logo to go alongside the Gulf Oil logo on the door. So, Hot Wheels fans, at the end of the day, this is the question. 
is the 2022 Hot Wheels RLC Golf Racing Datsun 510 worth the hype? Is it overhyped? Let me know in the comments. I think it's a really nice model, but sure is not worth $400, that's for sure. It's a cool car, but it's not worth that much. Time will tell if this will be the next 55 Candy Striper Gasser. I doubt it will go that high, but we know that it's gonna be more than a $100 car, that's for sure. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.